So I've been playing around with Comet, uh, which is Perplexity's new AI native browser, basically. And I wanted to show some use cases potentially for lead generation. Um, now, if you're obviously using like Clay and full automated systems, it might not necessarily be as useful, but <clears throat> this might be quite useful for businesses or solopreneurs or, or smaller shops that, you know, just want to save a little bit of time or potentially even with SDRs um, who are doing manual prospecting, but don't want to have the complexity of like using clay and stuff. Um, I, these aren't fully fledged by any means. Like I've just played around with it a little bit, but I figured I would share like a couple of use cases. Um, it's really good for <clears throat> doing, um, it's really good for doing research. Um, perplexity is definitely like the best in terms of real time uh, research capabilities. Uh, it's basically just a, an AI native browser. So you can kind of search, browse, do all that stuff, but you can also talk with AI at the same time. Um, so I'll show you a couple of different use cases here of how you might use it to build lists and just generally like save you time. Um, again, it's not perfect. Like a lot of people will overhype this stuff. It's good for some things, other things it's not so good at. Like I just tried to talk to it um, regarding like a, a clay table and it's able to edit things, but then it's also messes up other stuff as well. So um, obviously it will improve over the time. Um, this is kind of like the worst it will be, hopefully, um, but you kind of will get a sense of what could be uh, you know, useful in the future. So first things first, um, let's just say hypothetically you're, you're scrolling on LinkedIn and you want to pull information from like different users. Um, and you also want to do some research on those companies as well. So let's just say, okay, cool. There's a post here and it like fits, you know, your, your ICP and you're like, okay, interesting. There's like 40 comments. Um, the people commenting and, and engaging in this post would, would probably be quite good. Right. And if you're not super technical and know how to like set up Appify and, and get all the scraping and all that kind of stuff or use clay then this could be quite useful. So what we can do here is we've actually got the assistant here and I could just tell it basically. And, and I now naturally, I, I start, I talk to it instead, but um, through using uh, a tool down here called Super Whisper, I think it is, um, which I find really useful, but it just depends um, on your preference. But for the video, I'll show you typing. So if I scroll up to this person, uh, can you, so can you go to Zane Jaffa LinkedIn post and pull the first 10 comments profiles. Um, I want their, uh, their name and their LinkedIn profile in a list. Cool. So let's just let that run and you'll see it starts to, um, yeah, like super quick. Here you go. Here's the people, right? So it's pulled this person and it's pulled this person and this person. Um, yeah. So it, you can obviously do this with the entire list, but it's, it's pretty good there. Right. So that's just saved time of like having to man the click and all this stuff. Now this can be, you know, you can extrapolate this for any use case where you have information on like a page, um, and you want to extract that information like super quick. Now let's do another step where we will do a little bit of research into these people. So can you now do research into <clears throat> each of these 10 profiles, uh, like the following info, uh, what, uh, summary of their LinkedIn profile, uh, find their latest company experience, and then find the company they work at or for, uh, and then find their, uh, com uh, find that company, company's domain. <clears throat> Uh, in 30 to 50 words, focusing on their experience. Yeah. Uh, and what they do. Find the company they work at. Uh, company name. And then find the company's domain and output that into a list for each of the 10 people in our 
list above. Cool. <clears throat> so if I was just talking to it, I would have just said all that stuff and then it would just start doing this task basically. And it will start to, you can see basically the steps that it has in its chain of thought and reasoning here on the right hand side, um, which, uh, yeah, which is pretty cool. You kind of get to see what it actually is doing in, in real time. Um, so yeah, essentially it'll do now do research on each of these. Um, and this could be really useful. For example, if you have, uh, like a list of websites or something and you want to go and do research on those websites, but instead of going onto each individual website, you could then say, Hey, can you go to this website? Um, and can you tell me whether or not they are like SOC 2 compliant or can you tell me if they, you know, um, have a product video on their website and you could give it like a list of, I don't know, 50, 50 websites or whatever, and it will go do that research for you. So instead of having to use more complicated tools like Clay, you can then now talk to it in natural language and be able to then build your lead list like that, basically. Um, and get the information that you need and essentially like qualify them and stuff. I'm just going to pause it because it seems to be laggy right now. Um, and I'll just let it run and do its thing. And then we'll review the results in a sec. Okay. My computer crashed there, but I think that might just be because I'm recording and having AI do stuff at the same time, but either way, um, what it's done here is here is detailed research for the first three profiles. More can be completed at request. So I don't know why it hasn't done all 10, but. It's fine, it's done three, and then you can kind of get the information here. So we've got summary, uh, accomplished founder, blah, blah, blah. And we've got latest company, uh, company slash role, CEO and founder at Disco Like, and then there are the person at discolike.com, right? And then we've got the company domain here. Now, and then we've got the same for here, and then obviously we can click the profiles and check it out and make sure it all checks out and is correct, but it should be. Um, so next, what you can do is I could either ask it to do it for the remaining seven profiles. I could ask it to pull more of the comments from that specific post and then, you know, kind of just like build out my list like that, basically. Um, what I can do now is I can go and ask it to do research on those three companies and just kind of get a general sense of uh, what those companies do. So uh, I'd like you to go and research those three companies. Uh, go to the websites and uh, create a summary on what the company does, who they uh, target and sell to, and the case study they have, and uh, services they offer. Give a full detailed summary of each. Cool. So I'm going to just let that run and do it. It's going to do its thing again, and it's going to visit those, those profiles. But again, the, the main goal of this video really is just to show you like some of the potential use cases here, um, which is essentially you can do research, like you have an assistant to help you do research basically, rather than you going and doing this research yourself. And if you are struggling with you know, more complex tools and setting up the scraping and stuff like, yes, like we can help with setting side of things up, but if you want to do it yourself, then this is like a good middle ground where you're not having to click on every link, you're not having to go through every single thing, but instead you can just talk to it and it will just, um, it will just pull and do the research and information for you. Now I haven't gone into full depths of like all of the use cases here. This is just a very simple one of like, here's what you could do if you're on LinkedIn and you wanted to pull information that's on LinkedIn, right? Which might be the case for, for most of the time. You could also then start with, you know, um, if I was to go in here, for example, so let, actually just to finish this bit off. So what the company does, business platform doing X, Y, Z, who they sell to case studies. And now you have all of this information and then you could, for example, I don't know, let's see, um, can you now put all of this information into a list for the first three profiles? All this information into a list for the first brief three profiles with the profile's name, uh, LinkedIn URL, company uh, role, person's role, company name, company domain, and then the summaries of the company. 
Now, I'm going to actually ask it next if it can find the emails for these people. I think that would be super useful to see. Um, I've not actually tested it out yet, but we'll see. So we've got here a person here. We've got their LinkedIn, their role, their company name, their domain, and the summary basically here. Um, and then you've got it the same for here. And then obviously we could just do that for the rest of this, right? But I'm just showing you an example here. Um, are you able to find the work email addresses for these three profiles? I'm curious to see if this is actually going to work. I don't know if I, if it will or won't, um, but I'm interested to see. So, yeah, what I was saying was before is you could technically open up. Oh, wow. Okay. It's got the email address. Here are the work email addresses. Interesting. That's actually pretty cool. So, okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then obviously you'd want to validate these, but you can kind of talk to it and plain in natural language and pull a list from LinkedIn of people that are engaging on posts and obviously then uh, research their companies, find summaries about their LinkedIn profile, um, get their email addresses. And then obviously you would just need to validate that and put that into a table. I don't think it has the capability right now to put it into the table. Let me just ask, are you able to put all of this into a table for a Google Sheet Need, uh, name, LinkedIn, URL, role, company name, company domain, company summary, email. That's the problems. See what it can do. Um, so this is, like I was saying, this is one way of doing it. And you could then also start a search using perplexity. So we can do deep research and then we can pull like a list of companies. And then you could do a, a research on those companies, pull those into a spreadsheet, which it seems to have done actually pretty well here. Um, you can now paste this directly into Google Sheets. So then I could say, could you open, can you open a Google Sheet uh, for me and title it? List from LinkedIn, for example. Let's see if it works. <clears throat> I found that it's not very good at um, editing documents, but it can create new tabs and change the titles and things like that. Um, so let's just see what it does. Okay, so it's update. So it's create a page, but it has not. Okay, you can still see it's still doing stuff clicked on the wrong element, never go, blah, 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 whatever it's saying. It should be able to change the title. Either way, you kind of get the point. I mean, it's a small detail, but um, now we've built a list on LinkedIn and we put it in a spreadsheet and now you can just validate these email addresses basically. Um, so you could validate them by just going to like debounce or lead magic or any of that kind of stuff, upload the CSV um, and then put that into uh, into those. I wonder if actually you don't even need to do that. And I can just say, can you, uh, let's go back. So I think I can either share the link, shave query, a shortcut. Mm. To output a CSV file at table to download. So, uh, yeah, and of course, like a lot of this stuff you could potentially do in ChatGPT, but with this, you're able to actually go onto sites and pull things from those sites rather than having to start from a search interface, which, like I said, that you could do. Um, with, with ChatGPT, or you could do it with perplexity here by just opening up the new browser and you can then do like a regular, sort of like what you'd, what you'd be used to with a, an LLM here, where you can type in and do whatever you want to do here. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you can kind of just play around with those things. In terms of getting access to this, um, you can just sign up to the wait list. Uh, I actually got it relatively quickly, which was surprising. Um, or you can pay for like the max features on perplexity, but it's like 200 bucks a month, which 
I can't imagine most people would pay 200 bucks to have a browser. So, um, yeah, I hope that gives you like a good indication. Um, the CSV file has, has been created and is ready for download. I'm not seeing the download link, but yeah, I'm not seeing it. Anyways, you kind of get the point there. I just wanted to show like a, a couple of use cases here, um, which we've essentially pulled and scraped some people from LinkedIn. Um, we've done research on them. We've got their email addresses and then we put it into a, like a little bit of uh, organized it and put it into a table, um, which you could then put into, you know, Google sheets or whatever, and then start reaching out to these people. So it's just, it doesn't replace the work itself. Um, but it just enables you to do it much quicker. Instead of you manually going and doing all this stuff, you could literally just talk to it and it will then pull the data um, much more easily. And again, this is for people that maybe don't want to do all the super technical stuff. Um, but yeah, it's not perfect. Um, there's still probably got a lot of things to just like iron out a little bit. If it could connect to things like Google Sheets and Google Docs, it would be great because then I can just put it straight in and things like that rather than like copy pasting all the time. Um, but those are like little things. In general, it's pretty good though. Um, and the research is really good and it's, it's all real time, real time research. So the research aspect, I think is what it's, is strong value proposition essentially. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. And, uh, if you're interested, um, then I would just go and sign up and, and get the wait list or something from, uh, and see if you want to just kind of test it out basically, but yeah, thanks. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.